Good morning, Tokyo. Rise and shine, geeks. It's a brand new day, and you know what that means. Day two of Comic-Con. Let's do this! Soon after. So one of the good things about uh, booking the hotel that we booked is that in order to get to this place, which is Makuhun Messi, I might be pronouncing that wrong, but that's where the convention is, mm -hmm. we have to take a monorail. And that's one of the rarities that we have in Osaka. We never take a monorail. So coming mm. here, we get to take a monorail. And the... As I've learned, the wheels are at the top of the track, not at the bottom. Because back in Malaysia, our monorail system is like, it's at the bottom of the track. So it's very interesting that it's at the top. But yes, we're taking a monorail and we're heading to the convention now. Yes! This is definitely a lot busier than it was yesterday. Mm -hmm. And we have arrived at Tokyo Comic Con day yeah. two. And again, same bunch that we went to Osaka Comic Con with. Yes. This is my buddy Brandon and Aaron. Hello. Say hi, guys. Hey, guys. What's going on? I mean, you can say hi again. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes, we are here on the day two of Tokyo Comic Con. We're going to do a full day today, hopefully, and explore more. So, why don't you come along, just like Osaka Comic Con, and explore with us? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> So behind me over there is the stage. That's where all the panels will be happening. And just like Osaka Comic Con, unfortunately we can't take videos or photos inside there. But who knows, maybe I might find a way to get some sneaky shots. We might, might not, we'll see. But that's essentially where all the big panels will be happening. And now we've hit Artist Alley. Artist Alley is essentially where all the artists are. It's in the name, uh, where you can get their artwork, you can take pictures with them, or you can buy merchandise or comic books as well. There's a few voice artists here as well, voiceover artists. Uh, but essentially, this is where you come to get your artwork and meet some of your favorite artists. This area behind us. <laughs> so, take two. This area behind us, uh, that big area, is essentially where all the merchandise is, all the merchandise booths and stuff like that, where you can, you know, spend all the money that you probably don't have and buy things that you possibly don't need but just really, really want. So, let's go and check that out. Yes. Now there's also this Jurassic Park pop-up booth which is exactly the same as the pop-up booth that I did in my previous video. So if you want to see that, check out the link in the description or I'll put it up somewhere here, wherever it is. But yeah, go and check that out. I won't be taking too much videos of this because it's pretty much the same thing.
I'm never gonna escape this song, am I? Now behind me is the Warner Brothers booth, the big Warner Brothers merchandise booth. Now there's a Marvel booth, but it's always almost a 90 to 120 minute wait. So unfortunately we can't wait for that, it's way too long, but I've managed to get a time slot for this, so we're gonna check this one out now. And if you're noticing, I'm, I'm dressed a bit different than what you just saw. Well, it's because this is the third day and I've been trying for three days to get into this booth and today is the day, so let's go. So as I mentioned outside, this is the Warner Brothers 100 booth where it's celebrating everything Warner Brothers and I mean DC is one of the main uh, franchises that they have but on top of that they've got Harry Potter, they've got Gremlins, they've got Tom and Jerry, they've got Lord of the Rings, a whole bunch of Warner Brothers related merchandise is right here so let's check this one out. Look, it's Royal Slang Off, Malaysia represent. <laughs> I have truly realized how popular Mads Mikkelsen is because at this Warner Brothers booth there is an entire section dedicated to just him and his character of Grindelwald. All this you see behind me, this is just different merchandise with his face on it. Mads is well loved in Japan. Now in the outdoor area, in the bright burning sun, is the food area, the gourmet planet area, and there is a lot of food to check out. It goes all the way down behind me, it's all the food carts. So we're gonna check a little bit of that out now. I don't know what food we're gonna get. I don't know if Aaron's gonna get his daifuku again. I don't even know if they have daifuku. Do you think so? I honestly can't see right now. I know, the sun is blinding at the moment. But let's go check that out and see what food there is.
in case I haven't said in previous videos, Aaron is vegetarian, which makes it fairly difficult, especially in Japan, for vegetarian options. And at a Comic Con like this, unfortunately, there isn't much options for vegetarian. That's the only downside of this whole gourmet area. So unfortunately, all Aaron, poor Aaron, has to eat is just fries. Arigato gozaimasu. So if you're a vegetarian coming to Comic Con, I think it's best you find food for yourself. Mm -hmm. Like bring packed food and stuff, mm -hmm. because that would be the best option for you. A lot of it is meat-based, uh, soup-based, there's ramens, there's steaks, yeah. there's burgers. But again, it's all very much meat-based, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. Enjoy your fries, Aaron. I had to go off first. Because now I'm walking through the gourmet area again. I need to go to the photo op area. Because now is the time that I have to meet him. I'm gonna meet Doc Brown.